Hello again folks, Eric Pearson here with another demonstration of Simple Rockets 2. I've refined the design of my rocket a little further and proudly present the Pearson 7. This rocket will enable me to achieve orbit, then safely re-enter and splash down into the ocean with minimal fuel wastage. So. The sun has just come up, so it's a good time to get started. So let's check our trajectory. I think a good east-west trajectory is a good way to go. So let's put our throttle to 100%. And ignition in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. And Thunderbirds are go! Oh wait, wrong program. <laughs> okay, so at about 1,000 meters, we're going to roll to 75 degrees pitch. At about 5,000 meters, we'll roll to 45 degrees pitch. Excellent. At about 15,000 meters, we'll go down to 30 degrees pitch. All right, very good. All right, let's check our trajectory so far. Now, if we assume a nice circular orbit, then there's a good chance we'll have a nice window of ocean on which to land. But soon we're about to run out of fuel in our first stage. Okay, thanks for the lift, fellas. Second stage. Okay, this green arrowhead marks our apoapsis, which is the high point of our trajectory. When we hit an apoapsis of about 100 kilometers, we're going to cut the engines. There we go. So we're about two minutes out from apoapsis. When we're about 30 seconds out, we're going to reactivate the engines, but first, I'm going to adjust our heading nearly tangential with the surface of the planet. Now, you wonder, how am I doing this without the use of thrusters? Well, the answer is, aboard this ship, we have gyroscopes connected to uh, motorized gimbals, so we can use flywheels to build up angular momentum and redirect it in order to turn our ship in space. So there we go. So let's see how we're doing here. We are about 70 seconds out. We'll trigger the engines again at 30 seconds out. Let's speed up time a little bit. 60 seconds out. So we've got about 20 seconds to go. Ten, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, mark. Here we go. Engine's on. Okay, so if all goes as we hope, we will have ourselves on a an orbital trajectory instead of a ballistic one. Of course, we may have to transition to the next stage here. Yep. Okay, your time is done. Thank you. Trigger the engines again. Soon we'll see a periapsis. Here's our periapsis here, the low point of our trajectory. Once we hit 100 kilometers, there we go. So we've achieved an orbital trajectory with a high point of 106 and a low point of 103. So that's pretty good. And let's see, we've got some ocean stretches that we can land in. We may be able to do an additional burn to adjust our trajectory a little bit. But first, let's take a moment and just enjoy the view. Vast ocean between us. We're coming up on a continent here. Since it's Mother's Day, everybody wave to Mom. Hi, Mom. See you later. Be home in time for dinner. So if we look at our performance, or our velocity, so we're moving over the surface of the planet at 3,200 meters per second. So we're moving pretty quick here. Oh, look, I can see my house from here. All right, so kidding aside, it's time to start planning our deorbit burn. I want to have a burn that puts us down harmlessly in the water, but we're going to have to adjust the angle of our orbit because most of our trajectory has us going over land. So what I can do is I can set up a burn a little ahead of the low point of our altitude here. Maybe I can have us come down over here. So if I drag our vector, whoop, no, that's not working. Let's try that again. What I want to do is drag our trajectory in two dimensions. I want to be able to drag... I want to drag our uh, trajectory this way, like so. But I also want to have it so that we're not just flying over the ocean, but we're coming down in it. So I need to gently drag this down a little bit. Oh. Let's, uh, let's see where our vectors are. see here. Can we grab this vector here? Because if I, if I mess this up, I'm not going to come down over 
I'm not going to come down over water, I'm going to come down on land, and I don't want that. It is a little touchy. I have to say the controls are just a little touchy here. Actually, I'm going to start over. Okay. Maybe what we need to do, because the angle is so gentle, maybe we need to come down closer to the low point of our uh, trajectory and start our burn at a steeper angle. Like drag it like this, and then ju just drag us downward like so. Keep dragging, keep dragging. Whoop, okay. We're on the right track, though. Let's try again. It does take a little bit of trial and error because I want to do this right. Let's go back here, get a look at the planet below. Very nice. Okay, so once again, here we are. Let's start here at our low point so that we don't have to work as hard to adjust our trajectory. We can put us on a big patch over here. That's one burn. So that's one burn. And then here's another burn where we can drag ourselves back down. No, that's not working at all either. All right, so we have this burn here. Next, I'm going to delete this burn as well. All right, so first thing we should do... Actually, what we might be able to do is just really do a really hard deorbit burn and just see if we can get us down into the water like so. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Because if we, if we do it like here, if we come down a little shorter, then we've got a little more margin for error. And if we really do come down on this trajectory, I may have some engine power left where I can slow us down a little more. So that's good. So I'm going to activate auto burn and lock this in place. Thanks for your patience, everybody, as I work this out. All right, so let's jump ahead time-wise. According to this, the arrival time is, isn't 30 minutes, but that's before I speed up time. The accuracy is listed as high, so let's speed up time here. Okay, so we're about five minutes out. See, you can already see that the uh, our trajectory has changed slightly. 
So we may be able to uh, make some adjustments on the way in. Or what I can do is adjust this burn I don't want to mess with it too much, so we're about four minutes out. Sixty-two seconds out. Okay, thirty seconds out. Let's see. We've pointed ourselves nearly downward. So in about 20 seconds, the engine should activate. There we go. So we're pushing down out of the sky toward the planet. This is estimated to be about a 25 second burn. Accuracy is high. Okay, so our current trajectory has us on track to splash down in the middle of this ocean here. And we are currently at 90,000 meters, give or take. Just in case we need to push our trajectory out a little more, I'm going to set our velocity prograde so that we're pointed the direction we're actively traveling. Let's zoom in a little more. How's our trajectory looking? Whoop. Trajectory is still looking good. I think we've used less fuel than I anticipated because I think we've got one more stage after this one. But you know what? I'd rather have more fuel than less. How are we doing here? Still pretty good. And in fact, I could probably use the last couple of stages to break our descent as we come close to splashing down, making for a gentler landing for our astronauts. Still looking good. Nope, didn't want to adjust our pitch here. Uh-oh. Yeah, our trajectory is changing a little bit. Okay, hang on a minute. Engine's on. Let's push us out. Yeah, there we go. Pushing out a little more. That's right. You just keep pushing ourselves out and out. So that we splash down into the water. Okay, that ought to do it. Engine's off. Uh, nope. Engines on. Right now, we're undergoing the heat of re entry.
we've got one more stage left. Engine's on. Come on, push it a little more. Okay, jettison the last stage. Whoa! Okay, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. Okay, we gotta, like, angle ourselves up. We gotta get out from under this thing. Come on. Wag the tail. Come on. Come on. Can we shake ourselves loose? What are we doing? Uh-oh. Come on. Okay, we're tumbling. This is a bit of a ride. How we doing? Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Angle upward. Engine's on. Okay. Let's see what we can do with our trajectory here. If we do this right, we might still be able to land in the water. <laughs> well, we're rising in altitude, that's good. Let's pitch down a little bit. Okay, cut the engines. Okay, if we've done this right... Uh, wind resistance is working against us. Engines on. want to push ourselves out over the ocean. When we are actually over the ocean, then I'll be able to cut off my engines. Okay, that's better. Alright, we're in good shape now. We'll be able to get out over the ocean and splash down. And we've got 8% left on our fuel, so we may be able to use that to slow our descent. In fact, I can gently angle ourselves upwards and trigger the engines here. We're currently dropping at about, looks like about 20 G's. Let's burn out the last of our engines here. Okay, we're out over the ocean, that's great. When we drop a little more, we'll deploy our parachute and splash down. When we get to about 3,000 meters, I'll deploy the chute. From what I've read, I believe the Apollo Space Program had their chutes deploying at about 10,000 feet themselves, which is about 3,000 meters in change. Here we are, right off the coast. Okay, coming up on 3,000 meters. Shoot deployed. Beautiful. Well, 
Well, I know that was a fairly harrowing deorbit, but I'm glad that we were able to do a successful splashdown here. I know this isn't as precise and smooth as some of the other flights that I've done, but, you know, I suppose this is a good exercise in rolling with the punches. Okay, fasten your seat belts, get ready to splash down. Excellent. All right. So we've been able to splash down successfully, and since I have that heavy bottom engine, that's not causing me to bounce around or wind up upside down. It's happened to me before where if I come down with just the command module, I wind up bouncing in the water. But as you can see, we're just bobbing up and down nice and slow. So there you have it. A little challenging, but a successful orbit, deorbit, and splashdown here in Simple Rockets 2. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Eric Pearson, signing off.